jazzing up your day with a touch of soul. The Living Room on 938 Live. Now we all know the tune, of course we do, the song, the music, the band, but do you know the heartwarming story in Mamma Mia! the musical? Of course you do, what am I saying? We all remember the 2008 film with Meryl Streep's legs in the air and... Yeah, we held our breaths with Sophie as she tried to figure out who her real dad was. She invited three of them to her wedding, much to her mom's surprise, hence the legs in the air. But we're talking about the musical, the film Clean House at the Box Office, and the musical, which has been performed to great acclaim worldwide, has been on for some uh, 15 years, if I'm getting my math right. Yeah, so we're joined today here in Singapore till December December the 14th. It's Mamma Mia! The Musical. We're joined by Sarah Poiser and uh, Richard Standing. I hope I'm getting that right. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Must be busy times. Curtains have gone up already. Yeah. How's it going so far? Brilliantly well. Um, we were told that the audiences may not be as loud as they are in England, but it's not the case. They've been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I'm really too, enjoying the audiences here. Yeah. No yeah. heckling. I'm happy for no, you. No, no, no. But you like a laugh. Cheering. Singapore people seem <laughs> yeah. to like to laugh, and and they're, they're, yeah, really good, witty people are getting all the jokes, and yeah, it's good yeah. actually. It's really good. Both of you have been called what we would what we would call maybe quadruple because I don't know what the five word for it is like <laughs> quadruple is four so it's a ra- radio tv theater film a whole bunch of other things that you've ah. done too might you say you decorating interior decorating okay. <laughs> no, i'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Cooking i can't think too <laughs> <laughs> would you say theater is your favorite yeah uh, yeah i think so yeah i loved it. it it's different every single night people ask me how can you do a show for a year but, and it's because every night is different completely different because the audience is different yeah. right they yeah. probably be laughing at different points and yeah and I also you don't get it right every night and you try to <laughs> you know you try to get perfect it every night you know yeah i mean it's true i mean that's exactly when you do when you're on a camera and you um do something it's there forever and you got, you, d- you got to do it twice and you think oh no one more time i could have done it better and right with the theater you get like exactly what you just said you get the chance to hone it and keep trying and trying and I think we're doing the show I think the whole company's doing the show the best that we've ever done it this year which is brilliant mm. and that's, uh, that's really satisfying why do you think do you think it's a 15 year thing I think you know it sort of makes you feel oh it's monumental um, I think it's because we're coming towards the end of the tour and we, we finished the tour in January and suddenly people are aware that they haven't got many more of them to do so there's a kind of real fire to the show at the minute isn't there yeah. really and practice exciting. makes perfect I mean and, that, and that's the thing and the good thing about our show is beca- oh, just banged your table and the good thing about our I'm show I'm sure it didn't hurt so. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, is that um, because we get to do it in so many different countries it's always an opening night so we I mean we yeah. feel like we've just started the show again and we've been doing it for 60 I, weeks I so. was going to ask is there a difference when you go from country to country how does mm. it feel? We were just talking about that on the way over. Um, different audiences laugh at different things. I'm getting a round of applause here that I've not had for a year, ever, ever before. And here, the Singapore audiences really like it. I, I slide down a door when I'm singing, and they seem to think that's great. <laughs> I've and always I admired love that. it. I've always I admired love it, the but... fact that they like it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, everywhere we go, we go, okay, how are they going to laugh? What are they going to find funny? What are they going to find uh, sentimental? Yeah, so it, it, it does change it. Yeah. I mean, what, but what's, what's great is also what's universal, which is the songs and the story and and love and mothers and daughters and those things Mm. still resound wherever you go and that's why it is 15 years in you know hundreds of different territories i think it's really well known is the pressure then because you just talked about those universal things everyone Mm. knows the songs everyone Mm. knows the story yeah Yeah. (laughs) if you get it wrong (laughs) i I once (laughs) two years ago we did this before uh we've had a break in between but i did the ver- the second verse first and the first verse second of Knowing Me, Knowing You and I came off to the musical director and I said I don't think they'd notice and he said it was number one in 17 countries they noticed. of course they know <laughs> <laughs> so pressure she's more pressure than me I mean my show is 10 minutes compared to your two hours I guess That's nice. uh, the first time I did it uh, Meryl Streep hadn't yet done it I did it in the West End before um, so then it was just the role of Donna whereas now it's the Meryl Streep part mm. so yeah the pressure is different but um, I can only do what I do and still some ideas I bet from hands down you sing better than Meryl I'm sure <laughs> I haven't got an Oscar though so. <laughs> it's a balancing act yeah. <laughs> give a little take a little so how did you get into the role are there parts of your own life that you can sort of relate to Donna with? well mine's really amazing, mine's ridiculously actually. strong yeah because Sam's a very grumpy middle aged confused man and so am I <laughs> No, and also, no, because I'm, also got two sons. I've got two sons, and um, Sarah's Divorced. my second wife. Um, yeah. Although my first wife and me get on very well, uh, he, him, him and his first wife clearly don't. Lorraine, who we <laughs> never see, but he <laughs> talks about. Um, so yeah, I mean, it literally is. I am that kind of guy. Two kids divorced uh, yeah. and he's adrift I'm not adrift fortunately at that point we part company <laughs> but I do get married to the same woman as he does at the end of the play because <laughs> right. we've been married 
once for real and then of about 700 times in front of everybody else. <laughs> for fake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that, does that make it a little different that you're married? I what does so. it bring to the roles and how well, you work every day? I guess one would like to think we've got chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like, you could. You like could. But you know so. what they say, <laughs> if you don't it. have chemistry on stage, it means that the chemistry is off Maybe. stage uh, and vice versa all, all or something. Ours on, all else is on stage, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we've got no chemistry in life at all. Um, we barely speak now except Just during on stage. the show. <laughs> No, it's no. all fake, <laughs> Yeah, the camaraderie in the studio is all fake. This is, this is, this is again another show. It's the first time I've seen him since the weekend. Yeah, I know. Have you, are you okay? Have you been okay? Have you been singing? No, no, we, to be honest, it does matter. And it, it, it's, uh, we, we met as colleagues. We met, we were doing a Merchant of Venice, no singing required, although there was a point every day where I had to play guitar and so I sang a little song in, in that play. And that's where and how we met. And pack off a pound of flesh, so <laughs> no <big deal. laughs> Not mine, fortunately. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, so we met as colleagues, so we're kind of, that's our first relationship is as people who make plays together. Yeah. And the rest just kind of grew out of it. So I, I think it's a really, it's good. And I, I think we need each other because with other, other people, there would be less support, just naturally mm. there would. I wouldn't support somebody as much as I support my wife. I'd, I'd help, but we were really there. It's like having a best friend on tour. That's what's nice about it. That must be great. Yeah. yeah but lovely. what happens if you sort of have a little bit of a disagreement? Ah, and wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I will let you into a little secret. We 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 do argue occasionally, and we were arguing a couple of weeks ago. And I did actually turn around and go, "I don't want to talk," which is the first line of the winner takes it all. <laughs> you both sort of stopped and looked at each other, and were like, "Really, oh, really?" <laughs> sort of life imitating. We're going to do that now. <laughs> the, 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 there is a. It sounds a little bit co- a sort of a sort of trite answer, but the truth of it is, if you if you have a bad day, you have to collaborate and work together mm-hmm. at the end of the day, and that's quite that's healing. A bit of friends, yeah. And if you've had a great day, then the show's brilliant fun, and you get to celebrate that. So you kind of win win. But I also reckon with just colleagues, for example, it might be easier to ignore the misunderstanding because yeah, you're just my colleague, but you know I'm professional I'll power through the role mm-hmm. and yeah. the end of the day. But then as a married couple. I'm not sure that kind of ignoring helps. But I th- well, but true. But professionalism does count for a heck of a lot. And even if um, I am mulling over the fact that I'm probably wrong <laughs> at the end of an you're argument, you're always wrong. Usually, probably, yes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mostly, Actually, yeah. I probably am. <laughs> um, but um, even if that's the case, there's people who've paid you know a lot of money to come and see it. Somebody's birthday, it's somebody's anniversary. Yeah. A, a friend of mine went on half kind of in a bad mood in a play in the West End and came off and he hadn't done his best and then he found out there was a, the Last Wish Foundation on the front row and there's loads of kids and you're like it was, and you go that story is always in my head it's like somebody did a, a lot to get here mm. so the fact that I might feel a bit sad <laughs> isn't really important mm. the fighting end. with do your job you know, do, yeah. you do, do your job yeah, do your job is, is what job. you say to yourself yeah. you know. it's the cast from Mamma Mia the musical on now till the 14th of December I think at the Grand Theatre Marina Bay Sands I'll give you ticketing details in a bit we're going to chat more stay with us on the living room Thanks for staying with us on The Living Room on 938 Live. We're chatting with a cast from Mamma Mia! The Musical on now till December 14 at uh, the Grand Theatre Marina Bay Sands. Tickets at cystic.com.sg. Tickets selling like hotcakes. And really, the thing about Singaporeans, we tend to wait till the last minute and then it's, oh, <laughs> oh. dang it. <laughs> so please don't do Come that. On. Hop no, don't to do it. Cystic.com.sg with us is Richard Standing and also Sarah Poyers, who play Sam and Donna in yeah. the Mamma Mia musical. So you've liked it so far, a couple of days, curtains have gone up already. Uh, how long do you go for? I mean, it's usually two shows a night. And uh, we do, uh, how do we keep up with the stamina? Well, <laughs> it's a good point. I spend a lot of time resting. I don't go out very much. I don't drink very much. I don't socialise up much because I have to be ready for the show, which is fine. Um, the weekend we do two on a Saturday and two on a Sunday, and that's the kind of gruelling bit. But I'm happy to live a life of... Uh, a hermit for a while. <laughs> poor, old, poor old Richard, he goes out without me. He has all it's the tragedy. fun. But I'm happy to do it because I love my job. Yeah, I, really I had to love spend. La- I had to spend last night sampling martinis with other friends. On his it, was, own. it was a hard life. So yeah, tough. someone's got it's to do it. Though. I know it's tough, yeah. and I got to come back and tell her about it in a very slurred way. Yeah. <laughs> which, which, which I'm sure she was thrilled as she was trying to carry on sleeping. That's yeah. so odd. It sounds like you have very different personalities and different ways of how you. Oh no 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 no. She's she's a, my wife can party, but unfortunately, when you do a job like this, her responsibility is so great, and we singing you take care of your voice and, right. and I mean I do too I'm not out all the time I'm also 
kind of that did that. You know, so he says he's backpedaling now at this point. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> what? But, <laughs> what? <laughs> but I mean, it, it, yeah. But no, but I lose a, a bit for you. That that part of you, you lose yourself yeah. a bit, don't you? I mean, that's yeah. I think when you sing as many songs as I do, um, and it's it's a funny thing because what happens is you get show fit, which means you get some, your stamina grows, and yet as your stamina grows, you get more tired because you've been doing the show for a year. So I'm in a kind of weird place at the moment. It's just about managing my energy, really. So I eat certain things. I rest quite a lot. I try and avoid aircon spaces. You drink I'm kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. I drink, drink five liters like of water a day. Ridiculous amounts of but water. But it's no, it's no hardship. It's absolutely fine. It's what's required of my job. It's like any job, you know. There's certain things you need to do, and it's a bit yeah. like being a sports person. I think in order to be fit for your job, you have to do certain things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and it's kind of good to take a year off alcohol. No, nothing wrong with that. Now and again, I have a glass of wine, but. Not so much. Oh, you fall off a bit more. Come on now. (laughs) (laughs) When there's the day off, what do you do usually? Get drunk. No, she she (laughs) does. Well, we sightsee. We go sightseeing. We do quite a bit. Lovely, isn't it? I mean, I like doing that. Yeah, I mean, the joy again, the joy of being international tour. What makes people want to do the job apart from the musical and it's a it's a job, is they go, oh, you're going to go to. And at the beginning of the year, we look we looked at this list and it was Hong Kong and then Singapore, and it was those sort of ten, twelve weeks was like. Wow, when am I going to get to go and work there again? I don't know, maybe never. So, I mean, that's a massive opportunity. Mm. So, yeah, we will. We'll go and see as much as we can. We'll get rained on a lot. But that's good. It feels like home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, it's one of those bum times of the year. Yeah, it's fine. Where we rain a bit it's more. It's nice, though. The heat's great. You can't shout at the rain. You, you're like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. All my mum would say, your face will go sideways and freeze there. <laughs> your, yeah, my mum said, you, your face will you stick like that. you yell at the weather, right? Uh, yeah, not a good idea. you just got to accept it. It's good. Yeah. So how, what can we expect from the show? I mean, for the ones who maybe don't know anything about yeah. it, have been living under a rock for the last 30 <laughs> years or something, yeah, what can we expect from the show? Well, I think, I think one of the things I say to people is the, um, the DVD is the biggest selling DVD of all time, apparently. Um, so loads of people have seen the film. But I'd say if you have seen the film, you should come and see the show. If you haven't seen the film, you should come and see the show. Because La- ABBA Live is exactly where it should be. Live, You've got a fantastic live band. Great band, m- yeah. A brilliant ensemble. And I just think it's a show that's going to make you laugh, it's going to make you cry, it's going to hopefully make you stand up and dance. There's things in it about friendship, old friendship, new friendship, old love, new love. There's so much in it, and that's why it's been going for 15 years. I've been to, My sister was playing the same role as me in the West End for a while, and I've been to see her in it about six times. And I must admit, the last time I went, I was like... Oh, I've seen this show a lot. I know this show very well. And if I can, and I yeah. utterly still love it. I absolutely had a brilliant two and a half hours. <laughs> if I can speak to the forty-something-year-old men in the audience who think that <laughs> there's no way I'm going to get dragged there, kicking and screaming. I went to see it when Sarah was in London, and I went to see it because my wife was in it, so I had to. And I sat down. And I thought, there's two hours of my life. I'm not going to get back. Mm. And I sat down, and within about five or ten minutes, I was thinking, actually, this is quite good fun. This is actually quite funny. <laughs> And by the time the second half comes and she's singing Slipping yeah, Through My Fingers, it no, I was crying because uh, it's yeah. like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and by the end of it, by the end, yeah, I was stood up and jumping around like everybody else. And, and I see that happen. I see my grumpy past self sit down. <laughs> and by the end, I see him going, Shut off it. And yeah, loving it. And because it, it is, we had a friend of ours who's a very serious theatre director come and we were thinking, he's gonna hate this. Yeah. And he came and he came after us and went, it's irresistible. It is irresistible. Yeah. And, I, and I really think that's true. So I think it's accessible if you're six. There's something there if you're 40. If you're a teenager, there's a young love story. It's got I've heard that about the music, you know. Anybody from a hairy biker to mm. you know, a young student, yeah. they just absolutely love it. And the show music. rocks. It's loud. I mean, it's, it's, it's proper out. It's, by the end of it, it does feel it's a bit like a, like a gig. It feels like a concert at the end. Yeah. And the, yeah. band, the band are really brilliant. And I mean, you're hoarse from all the singing along. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, you yeah. should be. Sounds you like should be, well absolutely. And feel free to jump up, join in, do what you want. That's, that's fine. Yeah, just no rushing the stage and no heckling either. No, so no, a big no thank heckling. you to Sarah and Richard for joining us today. Mama Mia, the musical on till the 14th of December, the Grand Theatre at Marina Bay Sands. Again, tickets at cystic.com.sg. Please don't wait anymore. Hop <laughs> Come to on. it. Come see us. Thanks, guys, for joining us Thanks today. A lot. Thank you. Looking at life from a different perspective. The Living Room on 938 Live.